Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 156. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the Nürburgring Class A series. We're going to be taking part on each of the sections of the Nürburgring Nordschleife and we are driving the Chevy Camaro 10. For anyone not understanding, it's the 2010 Chevy Camaro. It's not the 10th edition. Let's get going. That was fucking cringe. <laughs> as as a platform, as a whole, I think YouTube is a, YouTube's discoverability is dog shit. I'll be honest. Um, and it does... Re the, there's part of me that's thinking maybe I should stream to another platform at the same time. And I was thinking of making, like, kick and just streaming to both platforms. Um... But then I would have to focus on one chat. So I would probably end up using Kick and then sending people to YouTube to chat. Um, or maybe just having Kick chat open. Like, Kick would literally just be a place that you could watch me. But all the archives, everything, all the support would be focused from YouTube. I don't know. Think better with a hole in your head. If we catch a criminal, when we catch a criminal, oh, oh, there's nothing we can do. Play cops and robbers. Cops and robbers. I love this song. Simon, because he said you got two lives down and one life left. I just think, obviously, I'm now not streaming on Twitch, and as as you can tell from right now, if you're watching this live, I'm obviously live on YouTube, not Twitch. Uh, if you're watching this as a video and you haven't seen, I'm now not streaming on Twitch. I'll, I will put like an overlay at the start of the video, because normally I put. This video was streamed live on Twitch, but now it's going to say this video is streamed live on YouTube. And yeah, I'm not streaming on Twitch no more. Because I, I have a slight problem with the fact that, um, what is it, YouTube takes a small cut. It, it's not a small cut, it's, it's a substantial amount of money, don't get me wrong. Like, if I was to add up the amount of money that YouTube's probably earned from me, uh, I'd say around about 300, 400 pounds that YouTube's made just from their cut of all revenue of mine. I, th I think that's safe to say. But at the same time, they're a business, they've got to run whatnot. I mean, fair play, they've got like terabytes of my videos on there. My Forza series on my hard drive right now, I've got it on an archive drive and it takes up 1.3 terabytes like every single video before it's been uploaded to YouTube. And I know they do compression still, but that's a lot of space to deal with. So fair enough, they need to get paid for that. But I, I, I will admit it's a bit... Twitch, the fact that their bitrate limit I can, if I want to, I can set my YouTube streaming bitrate to 51,000 kilobits a second. 51,000. That's the limit. And that is good for 4K 60fps live streaming. That's mental. On so many levels. That's YouTube's limit, and anyone can get that limit. 
Whereas Twitch's limit is 6,000, unless you're a partner, in which case they let you go up to 8,000. Which 8,000 is only just enough for 1080-60. I'm not even joking, it still looks quite shit for 1080-60. I've got this on 15,000 kilobits, and the recommended is 12,000 for 1080 So, I'm higher than the recommended, but it's enough that it means that the stream looks good quality. When you look at Kick, they still have quite a low bitrate, but their bitrate is 8,000 for everyone. Which again, Twitch is a platform that's run by Amazon. 50% of the internet is run on Amazon web services along with Google web services. Like, a company that big should be able to let people have a higher bit rate. 15,000 kilobits a second, something like that. And I'd love to see, like, obviously I want to stick with YouTube now because I'm invested into it. But at the same time, I'd love to see these other... I'd love to see Twitch change their ways and become a better platform because that's what... That's what the content creator space is all about. It's just, you know, everyone having a, a good time, just vibing, chilling with each other, enjoying life, whatever. And obviously, the way that Twitch is, it's not viable at all for anyone. It would be very nice to see that change. Very, very nice to see that change. Anyways, we've got one more race left. Or one more heat of this section. And then we go to the next stage. I forget how long this does take, though. It takes a while. I do say that this is going to be a 16 hour stream, but knowing me, I'm probably, if I'm still have, if, uh, 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 yeah, this is not going to be a long stream, <laughs> brain fuck, no, it's going to be 16 hours, but I, I can guarantee if I get to like 2 o'clock, and I'm, I'm cracking on, I'm enjoying it, I'll, I'll keep going, to be fair, the only thing is, if it, if it hits 24 hours, uh, that's when I will 100% have to stop because that will mean I'm screwing up my sleep schedule big time. Well, obviously, we're going to see what happens today. We'll see how it goes. I do want to push for that 16 hours, obviously. Um, I probably should have put the title as like 12 hours, make it a little more realistic, and then just gone for 16 hours same time I think pushing for 16 hours is a lot better if I've got it there whoa okay I forgot how easy it was to go on two wheels as well oopsie daisy stream latency like the time from you typing something and then there being a reaction to that message because I had a look earlier the latency looks about 8 seconds which obviously is more than what we had on Twitch but it doesn't seem that bad for what is a really high quality process highly processed video stream either. to have just 8 seconds that seems crazy That looks so unstable, so it just crosses the line, just skirt. It is upsetting to think that a platform that I've worked very hard on for quite some time, a good few years, is completely killing it off. While, yeah, YouTube hasn't done 
its thing to promote streamers as much. But at least it hasn't done things to screw people over. Yeah, I I haven't heard good things from Kick or Twitch. But the the bad things that I've heard about Kick is not about the platform itself. It's about just the people. So the bad things that I've heard about Kick is that oh Aiden Ross and um, a lot of these gambling streamers are over there. And the bad thing that I've heard about um, what's it called? Um, Twitch is the fact that they screw over streamers. It, in my mind, obviously, people are saying, oh, kick, there's so many toxic people there. There's so many toxic people on Twitch as well. The problem with them is the fact that they're the communities that people make. If you make a toxic community, you're going to have a toxic community. It's a no-brainer. So that, that's, that's a massive problem with any platform. I've seen YouTube communities. I know of one YouTube community. I even gave the guy a shout-out in the video. Um, and his community became ex extremely toxic. And... Um, that happened on YouTube. There's so many, so many different, like, toxic communities out there. And it doesn't matter what platform you're on. Um, so when it comes to kick and the toxicity and whatnot, it seems like an aspect of social media now. Yeah, system of a doubt. The toxicity of our city. <laughs> Sis I I miss System of a Down. They came back and made a couple of songs and then just disappeared. Pendulum did the same thing as well, but Pendulum actually came back recently. They obviously made uh, Halo with uh, Matt. I think it's Matt from Bullet for My Valentine. Which, by the way, Matt has a phenomenal metal voice. Like, his metal voice is... Wow. It's so good. It would be nice to see... The problem with um, content creation and online stuff... Is the fact that when you when you're working as a content creator and whatnot, there aren't because it's classed as like self-employed work and whatnot. There isn't really many worldwide laws that apply to content creators and whatnot. You look if you, if you go to work in the UK, there are so many laws for employers for employees that mean that it makes it fair for everyone. Obviously, that is not the case for content creators, and it is a bit of a nightmare. Oh, 
bit far. Hey. Alright, not bad. That's a good start. We've got one more lap to go, and then we're good. Porsche, get out of the way. There you go. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've just absolutely killed him. I didn't even realise that these point to points were with just two cars. Me and someone else. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh. I got way too wide there. If I ask you one more time, I got the Spitfire. Spitfire was actually in, um, uh, what's it called? Motorsport 2. It's one of the songs on the uh, actual soundtrack for Forza Motorsport 2. Motorsport 2 had some good soundtrack, but no game is better than Motorsport 3 slash 4. Those two games had such a good like racing game soundtrack. It's crazy. And then Motorbot 5, 6, and 7 all have composed work, which is terrible. I would much rather have just licensed songs, because licensed songs are good songs made by proper artists. It's very rare that you can get like a good sound in, uh, what's it called? Soundtrack. Not bad, we came first. We are one eighth of the way through this stream, almost. Not even, yeah. We're an hour and 41 minutes. We've got another 14 hours and 19 minutes to go. Woohoo. Oh, bit of contact there. Bit of contact proceeds to uh, damage your front bumper and smash the rear bumper of the Porsche. Joe, you know, one thing I didn't realize was the fact that I don't have a lot of Prodigy songs on my Stream Vibes playlist. So when I was going through, and obviously, this is all music that I've added to my Stream Vibes over the last six months that I haven't been streaming. Because I've obviously been like preparing, ah, oh, let's get some new music. I've added like 180 songs to the Stream Vibes playlist since. And this is just a separate playlist that just has Stream Vibes tunes. Um, but yeah, there's uh, absolutely none there, there was like two Prodigy songs, that was it. And I'm like, how on earth am I a fan of the Prodigy and I've only put two songs on my vibe, vibe spoilers? No. 
that will not go on. So there's about 10 Prodigy songs in this playlist because I've added 10 songs to the playlist. And do you know what? I don't care what anyone thinks. I love the Prodigy. Exhale, exhale. Bing, 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 bing. And across the line. Let's go. That was a really short one. Quick, cheerful, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, by the way, for anyone looking at the top of the screen, I do actually have a, uh, what's it called? A stream goal. So, the goal at the top is for, it's for one of, one of, t I think I'm going to be upgrading my PC at some point. So, I'm looking to get some new PC components. Um, and I think it's going to be, I don't know yet. Actually, now that I think about it, I need something for stream. I need a new chair. Do you know what, I'll, I'll set the goal at 200, and it'll be a play seat. That will be my goal. To get a full-on sim rig. Come play my game, I'll test you. How are you today, my man? Hopefully you're having a good day. I'm doing good, Zeno. I'm doing good. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy we're streaming again. On YouTube as well. Do you know, you... Surprisingly, right? I always thought YouTube would be a bit of a ball lake to stream on. And the only ball lake is the fact that I have to double check that the stream is set up correctly like stream titles and everything I have to double check that because they permanently save as like a video but I always did that on Twitch anyways because I always double checked what my stream title was I forgot a couple of times but it's basically the same thing and it's, it's really weird as well yeah it, it is awesome Zeno to be back live again um, yeah, YouTube actually has a lot more features than Twitch does in terms of, like, the content creation side. As a viewer, it's a little bit lacking, I'll be honest. But at the end of the day, that's really on the job of the creator to make the viewing experience good, not on the platform. Let's be honest. But when when it comes to like the stuff that I can have on like the chat, for example, on OBS will always load up one chat. It doesn't have like and I can stream multiple streams by the way to YouTube. You can stream like two or three videos. Which again, it's crazy. Um but I've got all sorts of like analytics, I've got tabs that I can have a look at. <laughs> Bro's looking like a pro streamer with a blurred background. Yeah, I th 
I sort of got rid of NVIDIA Broadcast because of the fact that it was quite intense on the PC. But that was back when I wasn't doing the Mega Series. Now I'm doing the Mega Series. Fuck it. The PC's not actually doing anything other than, you know, streaming and whatnot. It doesn't need to game, so... In video broadcast, though, when you're gaming, is a killer on the graphics card. And I don't understand why, and it still is. So... But at least now I've got a blurred fridge and a blurred microwave. How's that sound? <laughs> yeah, I, I basically got supplies. I got a tub of that stuff. Which is supplies for, like, future streams as well. Not just this stream. But it means I can basically just make up some energy drink whenever I need it. Um, I got two coffees. Uh, a couple of Lucozades, which is if I need a little bit of sugar. Um... The coffee's also a little bit of sugar as well. Uh, I have a sandwich for lunch, which is at like two, so in a couple hours. Uh, and then at four o'clock, I've got to take some meds for my toothache. And then at eight o'clock, I'm ordering a Domino's, and then at 10 o'clock, I've got to take more meds. So, fun. I'm getting lots of food. My day is planned out very well. So take me away. stuff has 150 milligrams of caffeine which is equivalent to a normal energy I think it's more than a normal energy drink I think a normal one has about 125 and then if you look at like some of the rock star high energy ones they've got 200 so that's not too bad it's got a decent amount of caffeine that's enough to give you that buzz wake you up along with the fact that it's blue raspberry flavor there's no that's a fucking win, in my book. I got so excited when this album came out. Prime Energy with 200 milligrams being illegal in Australia. I find it crazy how Prime Energy is actually, like, Prime itself, the only reason it's selling is because of hype. Like, it's, it's definitely, you can tell it's definitely an American brand, 100%, because of the fact that the, sh the, the taste of it is just, wow. But yeah, Prime is, Prime is selling, like they're getting millions. Why is Alex asking if I'm here? I'm live, I am streaming, I am Zim Zimmer, Mr. Strimmer. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I will admit the drink is all right. It's not terrible, but it, it's just a mid—it's a mid-tier drink. It's not anything special. It's not anything. It's not terrible. I don't feel like I've wasted my money when I've bought it. 
Um, but I don't think it's anything spectacular. Either. It's just Prime. It's ju yeah, it's just a drink. Like, it's like if I went and bought Rubicon. It's fresh, it's whatnot. It's just a drink at the end of the day. Same with Dr. Pepper, same with Pepsi, same with Coke, whatnot. It's just a drink. I, I would love for them to make a flavour that actually gets me... Like, this sneak stuff that I'm drinking, this is, like, really nice and really refreshing because it's mixed with, like, fresh water and whatnot. Like, you just stick some water in, stick some ice in, and then whatnot. And it f it's almost, like, hydrating and fresh and whatnot, but... There we go. I've told Alex I'm live. The sin beyond the sentence. The sin beyond the sentence. The sin beyond the sentence. So yeah, for anyone watching this on YouTube, I actually now that I can't do that. I used to go for anyone watching this live on Twitch, yada yada yada, and for anyone watching this on YouTube. I can't do that anymore, because now it's just for anyone watching the video, but then that's also technically the... Oh, that's going to be confusing. Ugh. So for anyone watching this right now, because it doesn't matter where you're watching it, it will still apply. <laughs> uh, so wherever you're watching this, um, I've got... So on Twitch, you have just like... Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3. They're fixed prices and whatnot, fixed rewards. You have no customization or anything. On YouTube, I've actually got six tiers. Why do you need to speak with me? What have you done? You'll have to give me a minute anyways, but what have you done? Um. All right. Give me a minute, let me finish this race and then I'll ring you. It can't be too long though, but I'll give you a ring. Um, yeah, so, hello pleb. <laughs> Poor Alex. Um, yeah, I've got six tiers, which means there's a lot more variety on um, how much you want to pay. And I've even got like a 99 pence option. So if you want to just support a little bit, that option is there. I, lo I love the fact that I can do that. Because I've, I've got two tiers that are cheaper than Twitch's lowest tier. Um, which is crazy to think about. Um, I've got all sorts of different perks as well. When you do uh, join as a channel member. So... Feel free to have a look down below. There should be a little money icon on the chat or if you're watching this as like an archive or watching this on the video, there should be a join button next to the subscribe. Feel free to have a look, see what there is because there's quite a few things on there. Stop ringing me, you fucking dick. <laughs> Stop it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.